Yo, what up? Lazy here, and in the last episode, I set a light goal, 10 likes for the Lexus RCF, and I'd come back in and I'd put the V10 from the LFA and all-wheel drive. So yeah, here we go, let's jump into it. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is jump in and put in the V10. Yep. We're going to upgrade to all-wheel drive, we're going to put twin turbos on. I'm not going to go with a wide body this time, instead I'm going to put the Forza Aero on it. That way I'll, it'll give us a whole bunch of adjustability and whatnot. Yep. For the tyre compound, I want to go up to race. Since this car is going to be really heavy, we're going to be struggling for... Just struggling, so I'm going to bring the tyre width to there, and I'm going to do the same in the rear. For the rims, we're going to want something light. So I'm just going to go with the Old Faithful, always at the end. I can't remember the names of them. Yep, them ones there will do. They actually kind of suit the car. I don't want to mess with the size. And we'll bring the track width all the way out in the front and the rear. Yep. Uh, jumping into here, all this can be maxed out. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. It's much appreciated. Cheers. Very close to 800 subs. I'm really stoked. Uh, I'm gonna need adjustable brakes. Gonna need drift suspension. We'll max out the sway bars. I don't want to cage it, and we'll come back and do the weight reduction last. And we can just go through and max all this out. Honestly, I'm not really sure what this is gonna max out at. It's been a while since I built the LFA. So we'll just go through and yeah, just put it all in. Yep. I'm going to need the turbos. And the cooling. Alright, that gives us 1,283 horsepower and 789 foot-pounds of torque. That's not a lot. That's not a lot at all. But hopefully it can make it work. Once the weight reduction goes in and still drops us down to 3,277, that's, that's heavy. Sweet, so there's the build done. Now we can jump over and change the paint color. All right, so for the color, I wanna keep it really simple. So we're just gonna go with the stock color. Uh, yeah, that red will do. I don't wanna mess with that. That's fine, I don't wanna paint that. You can't anyway, the rooms are fine where they are. Hit it with a tint, and there we go. Sweet, that actually looks pretty decent in red. So the tune we're going to be using today is available to download. Here is the information. So yeah, let's go give this thing a rip. Yeah! 
have arrived at your destination. Wow, this thing is really heavy and you have to manhandle it to keep it sideways, but 560,000 ain't too bad. And that's it for the video for today. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Laters.